If you've been watching the channel for very long, you know that one of the pieces of gear I think is a really good idea to have in your emergency preparedness toolbox is a gas mask. But if you've been looking at gas masks, you know that some of those things can get really, really expensive. Well, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a gas mask price for regular folks, I'm talking about the Parcel Safety ST100X. That's what's coming up next here on Survival On Purpose. Welcome back to Survival On Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So as I said, the folks at Parcel Safety were kind enough to send me one of their ST100X top of the line gas mask. And just to be clear, they are sponsoring this video, which means to be completely transparent, they're paying me to show you their stuff. So my goal is to, is to show you um, as, in as much detail as I can uh, the pros and cons of this thing so you can make a, an informed decision about whether you think this might be something that you wish to explore further. And I'll just be straight with you. Um, I think it's at least worth exploring if you don't have any gas mask in your arsenal because this is something that could truly uh, save you or your family's in the life. And I'm not, I'm not talking about just in case of mustard gas. I'm talking about there's a lot of, lot of areas where things that could happen. This could be a very, very good thing to have. So let's talk about the uh, specs of this thing and then we'll uh, do some demo stuff. I have to take my glasses off for that. So first of all, we'll just talk about this, the, uh, the first thing you notice, it has a, a convex face shield which gives you a 200 degree field of view. Unlike a flat face shield, where you gotta, what makes you turn your head. So instead of turning your head and swiveling your neck like this, you can swivel your eyeballs the way God intended. Second, this features a polycarbonate face shield, which is impact resistant, uh, meeting the, I gotta read this, CE and EN 136 requirements. It's also both scratch resistant and fog resistant in both hot and cold temperatures. The face, the face shield, face seal here, and the nose cup is silica gel. It's a five point adjustable harness of elastic silica gel. And the uh, filter connection is a standard 40 millimeter NATO connection, NATO thread. So uh, any standard NATO cartridge will fit on here, but it comes with the um, PD1 filter, which is an organic filter. And this canister it comes with, let me just read you some of the stuff it filters out. I don't know how those guys on commercials do it like um, morning medical. So here it is, we'll just start it. Dust, gasoline, ether, nitro alkaline, nitro benzene, carbon trichloride, nitro benzene, gases and organic vapor, chlorine benzene, acetone, alcohols, anilines, carbon, tetra carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, chloropicrin, picrin, cadmium, arsenic, methylenedianiline, lead, <laughs> and nine pages of, of two columns of, of more stuff I can't pronounce either. Bottom line, it filters a lot of stuff out as is. And again, if you want to get yourself one of those NBCR, Nuclear Biological Chemical or Radiation Filters, uh, NATO filters, it'll fit on here too. Um, there's that, that's the specs. A little bit about the company. Um, they are, Parcel Safety is an American owned American company based in, they're based in Evansville, Indiana. So they're in the Midwest and they say they feature Midwest style customer service. Um, everybody that works there, their entire team is, um, is passionate about survival and preparedness and they try this gear out, make sure it works before they, they put it on the market. And finally, as I said, their goal, one of their stated goal to me was they wanna provide safety and protective equipment that regular folks can afford without breaking the bank. Because the reality is, if you got a family, you need more than one of these, right? You need one for everybody in your family unless there's somebody you just really don't like, you know? But <laughs> you probably probably need one for everybody in your family. So um, these are a full, at least $100 less than the, um, than the competitors, the next, uh, the next competitor. And they are very, very well tested. They're, they're, you know, you can go on their website and you can see all the testing and all that. But um, again, the price in this thing, did I tell you the price yet? 140 bucks, so 139 and 97 or something like that. We'll call it 140. So there's that. So let me give you the uh, quick rundown because I just kind of want to give you a heads up, see how it works. So first of all, let's just, um, let me just show you the, the filter. The filter, when you, when, it, when you get it, right? Or any filter is gonna have a cap on the screw part. It should have, if it doesn't, uh, you might be a little suspect on, suspect on that. And it's gonna have a plug in here and I've already taken this one out, but so it's got a plug here. Some of them just have a piece of tape. This one actually has a rubber plug, which I like because the piece of tape can come off of there. Rubber plug, I had to pop it out. And you can see it, it fits really good because I can't get it back in. So anyway, first thing you wanna do is uh, take that off and 
you can leave the plug on bottom or take it off. If, if, you know, if you leave it on for testing, you can have to take it off for breathing. Otherwise, you won't be able to breathe, and you won't last long if you can't breathe. So, but I've, I've, since I've got it off, we're going to show you some. Put this thing on like this. Isn't that lovely? So, I'm just going to hold it up to my face now, and I can breathe. Take your hand like this, put it up, seal the bottom. You want to seal the bottom, maybe use that part of your hand. Something to seal that hole. And then suck in and make sure that you can't, there's no air coming in. That means you got a good seal. So, let's try that. See if you can watch it right here. Okay. okay, I had a real good seal because I couldn't breathe, so the, the, they recommend tightening up the bottom first. I like to just pull the top in kind of snug and take the bottom of the cord, pull it back here. This one, pull it back here. Pull these back here like that, and now try to test it again without, without holding it. See what? Look, you can see it right here. Can you see it? Oh, okay, I could not breathe at all, so there's that. We'll do a quick vision test. Um, you got to trust me on this, because I guess I could be lying, because you know, they are paying me and stuff, but you, you decide if you can trust me. So I'm, I'm just gonna look at my hands, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move my eyeballs, but not my neck. So try to look at this finger where I can see, okay, I can see it all the way back here, I can still see it. Okay, now I can barely see it, okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I can sort of see something moving, but I can't really tell what it is. Same thing. Okay, I can see it moving. I'm looking as far left as I can. Okay, so I got my arms back here, like literally behind my ears. So I don't know how many degrees that is, but that's how far I can see without moving my head. So I like that. Um, and I don't know if you can see. But this thing has got like a little plastic peel off right here. You can peel that off. You can see it right up there. Maybe you can see the little wrinkles in it. Maybe right up there. So there's a little peel off shield. If somebody threw paint at you, I think they're doing that in riots now and stuff. Then you can peel it off and at least be able to see. Or if you got hit in the face with pepper spray or something, you can peel that off and still be able to see. Um, what else? What else? Well, let me think. Uh, if there's anything else I need to think about. Okay, so... I don't know, you'll be able to tell how well the, uh, the, the mouthpiece or the whatever you want to call it, the voice box works because this is with it on. And this is with it off. Okay, there you go. So, now, I look. and that's not even tight there. Look at that. Okay. And it was still sealed. Okay. Oh yeah, that's really good. So, you, so you, can, you can you kind of get it snugged up or whatever as it fits you. Then to let, take it take it off, you just, it's just like always. You got these same little buckles, you pull tab. Really, really easy to come off. Those those things release really well. You pull it right off. So there is that. So let's talk about pros and cons. And, and oh, a couple other things real quickly. First of all, you notice I took my glasses off. Um, any um, guest message you get. The glasses, the earpieces are going to break that seal right there against your head, and they're going to allow allow uh, stuff to get in there. So you, you're not going to be able to wear glasses. So you might be able to get some kind of 3M shield. I've heard they're more expensive than the gas mask or contacts or, you know, you have to take your glasses off. And that's that's the case with any uh, uh, any gas mask I'm aware of because you got to have a solid seal there. Now, I'll be honest with you. Just you're going to have to trust me or not, but this one seem to seal on my face better than um, some other ones I have tried um, without getting nearly as tight. I mean, when I tighten, them, tighten the other ones up really tight, they'll seal, but this one, it seals really good. That silicone seal is a really good seal, apparently. Um, so I've got a little hair here. Um, I don't have much, much whiskers, so I've got a little bit of whiskers here, but it didn't seem to affect it. If you've got a big full beard, then that's probably not, you know, you're gonna have to, no gas mask is probably gonna work for you. So. Talk about the pros and the cons. The, um, the, this, we'll start with the cons to get them out of the way. Um, there's no drinking tube here. So if you're wearing this, trying to wear this for a long period of time in a toxic environment, you might get thirsty. But most of us are gonna be wearing this to try to get out of a toxic environment and we ain't gonna be thinking about drinking. We're gonna be thinking about getting out of Dodge. Um, that's my opinion. So um, for, for the average person, this is gonna be just fine with no drinking, no drinking tube, in my opinion. You know, if, if you're um, end of day scenario and you're, you're living in, in, in a radio, radio, radioactive cloud, um, then 
you're probably going to die anyway, just to be honest, okay? So, <laughs> um, the other um, con, I think, and it's not really a con, it's just a room for improvement. They've got that little peel-off peel off, um, layer on there, but I couldn't find any replacement peel-off layers um, on their website. So I don't know if there's something like that available generically or not, but there's an opportunity for them to, uh, you know, maybe ha have a little upsell there and get a pack of replacement layers or something like that. And um, really, that's the only, um, kind of the only negative negatives really I can see about this. Um, it seems to be pr pretty decent. I actually, I like the fact that a couple things, I, uh, pr let's talk about pros and pros now, that's the cons. Um, um, first of all, I think the pro is, uh, one of the big pro obviously is the price at 140 bucks. It is, it is well, well, well below the, the closest competitors. The other pros I like, you know, is that little face shield that was also sort of a con, but, but having there at all, at least one is a pro because if you're wearing this thing in, in a, in an environment to save your life and something, you know, you need to see, peel that off, that one use could be enough to save your life. The other pro is it is a standard 40 millimeter NATO thread, so there's no, no weirdness. You don't have to buy any proprietary filters or anything like that. I like that. Another pro for me is the fact that it fits my face really, really well. Um, it really does. And let me just show you one more thing that my friend James Yeager showed me this. Um, I saw him, I, he didn't show me, I saw him doing it on a video to be honest with you, but if, to, if you're storing this thing to use, if you, if you put the uh, face, the, 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 uh, the head harness all backwards over the front of it like that, and you need to put it on fast, and maybe like something happens real quick and you need to protect yourself. You can put it on like this, reach up here like this, because now you're protected, right? You're holding it on and you're protected. Reach up here like this, and put it back over your head, and get everything kind of down out of the way. You're still holding it on. Now you can start tightening stuff up. Now, get on there, test it. Yep, it's good. There's that. And another pro, by the way, uh, speaking of the face shields is all these little parts it comes with an extra set of extra set of buckles just in case because this is going to be a moving part. It's probably the first thing that could fail you. Um, comes with an extra buckle, but but this harnesses you can buy replacement harnesses, replacement face shields, replacement nose cups, replacement fittings, and all that. All that stuff's available on their website. So if you need to maintain it, you don't have to buy a new one. If something messes up, you can fix it. If it just wears out, if you use it a lot, um, there's that. Um, you can decide for yourself as far as how the, how the uh, speech, how clearly you can hear communication, because communication is important, especially in a, you know, emergency situation. Um, oh, I, I did have one other, one other pro I want to show you. So one thing I like about this is that it is, put it back on, it is a single canister, which um, I like that because the two canister down here is kind of in the way. If I need to use a rifle, I know I'm not gonna be able to get a good cheek well because of this, this thing here, but it's a little higher than some of them, but I can still get a rifle in there and still probably see a red dot. I mean, I can get a cheek well for a long-term scope, but for short things, that's not gonna be in the way of a rifle. Of a rifle, so I like that, so. But as I was gonna say, um, this is not just for emergencies. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of times you might just need to protect your lungs in an industrial setting. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if you've got a lot of dust, if maybe you're a woodworker, just um, putting out pesticides, all kinds, of, all kinds of reasons why this could be a really good idea. And you know what? I'm surprised in today's, in today's society anyway that uh, I don't see a bunch of people walk around with these anyway because I see people riding around in their cars by themselves with masks on. So anyway, um, I think that's it. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Just kind of want to share that with you. That's the Parcel Safety ST100X. Did I get that right? I did. I got it right. Full face uh, gas mask respirator. And I got to say, I think that um, this is a pretty, pretty good value at 140 bucks based on what I've compared to other, other masks. And it's very comfortable on your face. I like this. It's very lightweight. I'm not sure how much it weighs. I'll weigh it and I'll put the, put the, uh, the, weight right here on the on the screen because I don't have my scale out here with me but it's very very lightweight and it's, it's also just really comfortable it feels good and um 
still, still better than any other ones I've used so far, which I was surprised by that because I figured lower price means lower quality, but apparently not in this case. These guys have done a good job of sourcing this. So um, there's that. Uh, so once again, thanks to the folks at Parcel Safety for sending me this ST100X so I can show you and for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I hope this video has been helpful. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You are watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.